Hello and welcome to Treehouse Hijinks, the movie theme game show where I'm sure of three things. One, I'm always going to be the host of this show. Two, my friend Jeremy would never do me wrong. Isn't that right, Jeremy? I want to say marzipan? You always pronounce my name wrong, Andrew. As revenge, I shall take over your show. Give it to me. Oh, I forgot the third thing, and that is there's definitely no mutants in this room. <laughs> Give me your show. Give me your show. Give me this popular game show. You know, Jeremy, I don't know why, but I feel like... No, it's, it's silly. It's nothing. Um, we're just... We're gonna get off the show. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not experiencing anything strange. Uh, tonight we are uh, talking about uh, the X Men, which is a totally fictional uh, thing. There's not there's no bearing in reality, right, Jeremy? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So we're going to talk about the X Men, and uh, here to help us do so are the usual backyard studios gang: Christopher Johnson, Morgan Busby, Jeremy Flambolina. Mm-hmm. Pretty close? Yep. Great. Okay. Give me your show. Give me your show. Um, and of course, our other sp uh, very special guest, uh, Benjamin Skaggs. Hi. Ben, how, how's it going? It's going good. Good. Um, wh wh who is your favorite X-Men? Actually, you know, I have another question for you. Do you. Have you ever had anything that you like really, really loved, but you felt like all of a sudden just like giving it away to s someone mm. else or... You, that's a silly question. Who's your favorite X-Men? Uh, I would say Nightcrawler. Okay, that's cool. Whoever wins gets this t-shirt and has Wolverine on it, so. Did you answer my other question or just the? Just, just a Nightcrawler thing. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, so let's play some games, huh? Movie trivia. That's what we do on this show. My show. My show that we, yeah. we do this. Yeah. Give it to me. Uh, um, you know, Jeremy, I think I want to talk to you about something after the show. Oh! Yeah. Great. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> it's a weird thing, but it's. I, I just I'm gonna just after the show, just we'll we'll chat. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I should do the show now. Me, I should do it. If that's right. what you feel like you need to do. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I'll just introduce this game. Okay. Uh, first up on uh, today's episode of Trio Side Jinx is a show called Pull Your Weight, Audience, in which you, the audience, have a chance to weigh in on a few multiple choice questions about today's subject. Simply click on the answer you believe to be correct and see if you can outwit our contestants here. And if you're watching on a device that doesn't support YouTube links, then uh, just tell all your coworkers tomorrow that you got them all right anyway. You know, when you talk with all your coworkers about how you all watch Trails Hijinks together. You know how that happens. Uh, all right, time for the first question. Here we go. An extension of the Mission Impossible 2 shooting schedule required Doug Ray Scott to bail on what X-Men role? Oh, A. <laughs> a, Wolverine. B, Cyclops. C, Charles Xavier. Jeremy. Wolverine. You got it. Can you imagine missing out on that role? Like, oh, yeah, I'm wow. sorry, I have to do Mission Impossible 2, <laughs> everyone's favorite Mission Impossible movie. I don't get to be Wolverine 1,000 times and make all the world's money. <laughs> Two, which of these directors did not express interest in directing The Wolverine? A, Darren Aronofsky. Darren Aronofsky. Darren Aronofsky. <laughs> Gilmore Del Toro. C, James Cameron. Ben! James Cameron? James Cameron had no interest, but the other two did. Gilmar Del Toro's The Wolverine? Hello? Question numero three. Last question for our game. Who has a screen credit on every single live action X Men movie, including Deadpool? A. <laughs> a. Matthew Vaughn. B. Lauren Shuler Donner. C. Hugh Jackman. Chris. Matthew Vaughn. Nope. <laughs> B. Sherry. B. Lauren Schuler Donner. She has produced every single X-Men movie, including Deadpool. And we don't know her name. Sorry, Lauren. Oh, and that sound indicates that time is up for this game. And now it is time for our flagship game, Straight Up Trivia. Question 
one, it's listed as question zero on here. Sure. Question zero, what aspect of Rebecca Roman's costume dangerously reduced her vision? Jeremy. Her contact lenses. Ouch, yeah, they did. Because he was, she was like doing fight scenes and stunts and she couldn't see. It reduced it by 90%, which is pretty big. That's a lot. Reduction. That's a big percentage. Yeah, it's close to 100 by about like 10. Question two, for what movie did screenwriters Michael Daugherty and Dan Harris describe turning in over 100 drafts? Morgan. First class. Nope. Chris. The last stand. Nope. Jeremy. Days of Future Past. Nope. Ben. X-Men Origins Wolverine. No! Chris! X-Men 2 United. X2 United. Yes, X-Men 2 United is very close to the right answer. The crazy development of what film ultimately ended up totally overriding a planned Magneto solo film? Ben! X-Men First Class? You got it! And let me tell you, the screenwriter for X-Men Origins Magneto was not happy with what happened with X-Men First Class. Uh, next, the filming of what character involved employing frame rate of 3,600 frames per second? Morgan. Quicksilver. You got it! Who made it clear to MTV News that she will be checking out a franchise after Apocalypse? Ben. Jennifer Lawrence. You got it. The Fault in Our Stars director, Josh Boone, pitched what X-Men spinoff as John Hughes meets Stephen King? Ben. New Mutants. Yes. Uh, and our next question. Oh man, the timer went off. I can't read this other question I wrote. For our next and final game, our contestants will be challenged to use a few clues to identify a celebrity who's connected to our topic. However, before the clues are given, each opponent must between must be tween? That doesn't make we any English sense. I can't be tween. <laughs> nope, I'm either. Grown out of that. Uh, guys, I think maybe I'm not doing a good job at this, and I feel like maybe... No, it's, it's silly. I'll just get back to this. However, before the clues are given, each opponent must decide... Beside? I just What's feel like on? maybe someone else... I don't know. It's, it's just a weird thing. However, before the clues are given, each opponent must decide between two possible wagers. The two wagers are detailed in the video description below, but suffice it to say, one is safer with a smaller payoff and the other has a bigger payoff, but could take you down to zero, okay? So that's what's going on there. Contestants, have you locked in your wagers? Yes. yes. Please reveal them at this time. All right. That's a little tiny wager you got there, Ben. Yep, very, very, <laughs> it's a small uh, wager. Very small wager. But in some ways, a very big wager. Yes. True. All right, please direct your attention to the very real video board, or not, depending on how much you believe in this board, to find out the clues. Remember, you can buzz in at any time, but if you wagered anything other than the usual, you can only guess once, my friend. Clue number one. I helped Sir Ian McKellen understand his character by referencing the gay rights movement. Clue number two. I bailed on the last stand, opting instead to be involved with Superman Returns. Chris. Patrick Stewart. No. Ben. Brian, Brian Singer. Yep, you got it. And I am happy to announce that Ben Skaggs has won not only Would You Wager, but this entire episode of Treehouse Hijinks. And so you get this shirt. And Jeremy, you get, I'm really gonna give you brand dying devotion, man, because you're the best. So a round of applause for Jeremy. And I hope you have a good time doing what you're doing. We'll see you later. Good night. Ah, oh, another great app. Give me your show. Jeremy is making that weird face again. Give me your show. Oh, I bet he's doing the thing where he thinks he has mind control powers. Yeah. I wonder what he wants. Show. Oh, he's probably mad about me not picking up those pregnancy tests. Give me your show. That can't be it. Give me your show. He bought them at 7-Eleven later. Give me your show. Or could it be that thing he talked to me about earlier? Give me your show. I thought he was joking, but I guess he wasn't. Please, just give me your show. I'd hate to say goodbye, but... Please. Yeah, I mean, he would do a great job. Okay, I think it's time to stop talking in my head and start talking out loud. Hey, Jeremy. Uh, yeah? I have an idea. 